So, it's time for some European football. It's Champions League. Hello guys and welcome to Dreaming is Possible here with Chesterfield and yes the Champions League has been drawn and we've got a fairly decent group and we've also going to be travelling quite a bit. Yeah, as you can see we've got Lazio, Fenerbahce and Shakhtar Donetsk in, in our group so a little bit of different cultures going on there. We've got Italy, Turkey and obviously the Ukraine so yeah, interesting. Um, we've not played you know these teams and it's going to be um, really interesting to see how we do and I think we've, we've actually... Out of all the other groups and stuff like that, I think we, we've um, we've actually probably got probably the best group, I would say. Um, but you just never know with with how how Champions League is going to go. I'd say we were favourites to get out of this group, um, but like you know, like I say, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We are going to be kicking things off against Shakhtar, but um, yeah, let me show you the other uh, groups in obviously the competition. As you can see, the final is going to be played um, at West Ham's ground, the London Stadium. Yeah, so let's have a look. Um, like I say, at um, the other groups, and then it gives you an idea of like what I'm saying about we having the better group. We got Group A with Monaco, Atletico Madrid, Bayern Munich, and A A Ghent in there. Like you know, um, yeah, that's a that's a tough one like you'd say like Atletico and Bayern were obviously favourites for that one but as you can see Bayern getting into that group in, in, as the as the third, sort of third like tier team which is a, an interesting one there's, there's definitely some interesting things I will get to you know a few things in a moment we've got um, Group B with Liverpool in there with Bayer Leverkusen Inter Milan and Salzburg Quite an interesting group. That's going to be quite tough for Liverpool, but I think they should be able to get through that one. Group C, Barcelona, Porto, Young Boys and PSG. Yeah, PSG down there in that fourth slot, which is um, interesting as well. Like um, like I say, some very interesting ways that um, things have been drawn like in this one. Um, but like, And I, that's why I'm saying like we, I think we have the better group. We've got Roma in Group D kicking things off with Borussia Dortmund, Benfica and then Ludogratz in there as well from Bulgaria. But yeah... Um, like I say, yeah, it's some good some good groups in here. Group E, Arsenal, Milan, Ajax, and the PAOK are in there. Like you know, Arsenal. Yeah, I think they should should get through there with the with the holders, Milan. Um, I think Ajax will probably give them a little bit of a, a tough game, but I still think that Arsenal should get through. Then obviously we've got our group. Group G shows um, Real Madrid in there with Schalke, Leon, and Krasnodar. Um, yeah, again fairly you know even on that one and and then finally group h with tottenham valencia club bruges and then rangers are in there and are you probably thinking to yourself hold on where's juventus yeah and i was thinking the same i was thinking where are Juventus? Um, they won Serie A. They're not in here, here at all. Why are they not in it? I don't. Is, is there a, is there a bug in the game? No, there isn't a bug in the game. Let me show you. So as you can see right at the top here, the club failed in the European Champions League financial fair play regulations. They're not in. They're not in this one. They're not in the Europa League or anything. They have been banned from the competition for failing, and that's the first time I've seen that in the game, like which is great to see because that you know this that's just what's so fantastic about this game. Um, it's got like so many different things that you don't see that are under under the surface and stuff like that. And I had to go and check and see what was going on. And yeah, Juventus are not in Europe, um, even though they won Serie A, and a lot of the players. Are not happy. Um, yeah, they they wanting to leave because obviously they want European competition. So yeah, things aren't going particularly well at Juventus. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a an interesting one. You're probably wondering who else are we going to be playing in today's. Well, I did say it. Yeah, it's going to be Chelsea that are going to be in there in the Premier League. We've been drawn against Norwich in the in Carabao Cup third round. We're not too fussed about the Carabao Cup. If we get to the win that one, then great. It's not like a, a big thing. That the main ones are the obviously, you know, is going for the Champions League. That is our main like sort of plan for this season, um, but that's what we're going to be doing. As you can see, we have had some few games. Like we play West Brom, Watford, and we play Bournemouth. All pretty straightforward. All wins, no goals conceded. So that is good to see. But yeah, um, fairly look uh, like looking fairly good, which puts us on top of the Premier League. Yeah, five games in, five wins, looking fairly good. Um, as we defend our like you know sort of championship here of obviously um, winning it 
two seasons in a row. Can we go three? We'll find out. Liverpool there in second, Arsenal third. West Ham having a good season, up in fourth spot. Down at the bottom, we've not got any real surprises like we did last season. We've got Burnley, Crystal Palace and Watford. Burnley and Palace obviously not having the best of starts. Five games in, five losses. But anyway, let's kick things off then as we um, face um, Shakhtar. So, here are the two lineups. Even though um, Shakhtar are at home, they're playing very defensive going into this one. As you can see, they're playing those two sort of like DM, like, you know, just in front of the, like, you know, the back four. But even like their like, wingers are very, very deep, like, you know. Um, but they have got two up front um, and they've got, you've got some players in there that you wouldn't recognise in like Serge Gnabry, you've got Gabriel Jesus in there, Lindelof is there. Who else have we got here? Rabio. That's an interesting position for him. I just noticed that. Left back, you know what I mean? But yeah, very interesting to see that Shakhtar are playing in that sort of like, you know, defensive, like, you know, sort of like formation. But um, hopefully we can break it down. We've got Timo Horn in goal. We've got Cruz, Arifi, Uf Makano, and Oli Clay as our back four. Dzwowski and Andrea are going to be playing in the midfield with Rayner um, playing in that cam. Warner and Appleby are out on the wings with Charlie Lawrence is up top. Right then, let's see how we do in our first game in Europe. So it's Shakhtar with the ball here in this first um, highlight of the game as uh, Gabriel Jesus is on the ball now. Obviously getting on a bit late, you know what I mean? But he's still got that potency up front, so we've got to be like, wary of him. Here is like Dodo now. Uh, I don't know if he's extinct or not, but <laughs> there we are. Um, we got Mike on in the middle. We, they're just playing us around here at the moment. We're obviously just trying to. They're just trying to tire us out. And we're trying to get the ball off them. Like you know what I mean, but good pressure from us and, and forcing them to like you know put it all the way back here to Ruli. But he's like played this forward and he's not found like a, a teammate of his. We've actually intercepted that one. Is Felipe Cruz now surges forward from that right back position, goes to the shot, but yeah, pulls it wide. So here is a bit further forward with Shakhtar. They've got it on the edge of the box here as Macon finds Mir, plays it here to Mbolo. Can he get the ball into the box? He's, he's managed to get it to the byline here. Gets the ball across and we have defended that well. It's now come to Apple where we can get a bit of a counter attack going as Mark Appleby surges forward. They're trying to like, keep with him. He's into the box now. He's looking for support but Macon there like, puts in a challenge and the referee has said um, hold on, this could be close here. Is, a, is it on the edge? I didn't think it was in the box but what will VAR say? We'll find out. VAR said it is a free kick on the edge of the box. Like I say, I didn't think it was inside, and I wouldn't even think it was a foul, but there we are. So it's Shakhtar again with the ball, with Ambolo throwing this one in to find Gabriel Jesus. Gets it back from him, puts it across. Cruz gets the head on it. Appleby will pick this one up again. Looking for support, finds Drea. Drea now finds Oli Clay on this left-hand side. Clay plays it inside, finds Rainier. And if you're wondering why he wasn't playing in, like, obviously the last episode, he actually came to the um, back to, from, like, pre-season injured. And there's a chance and a goal, and there we go. Mark Appleby has managed to meet that with his head. A um, great ball in. I was too busy talking about Rainier. It wasn't seeing like, you know, what was happening there, so I do apologise, but we'll see it better now. Obviously on the replay, and here is Rainier. Um, I just like, like knocks this back here to Carl Warner. Warner now um, looking to find um, Appleby and finds him superbly and well met by Mark as he heads that one into the top corner. So under pressure here at the back, but we've managed to get it out here to Carl Warner. Carl Warner just loses it initially, but then he finds Rainier. Rainier now surges forward. If I do say his name wrong, please let me know in the comments. Goes for an effort there. Did it take a deflection? No, it didn't. It was not a good shot. Well, we pick this one up. as Rainier is surging through the middle there, but Mia has managed to get a tackle in. Umbolo now um, is on the ball. Mia now under pressure. Make on. Intercepted there superbly by Carl Warner. Now, what is Warner going to do here? Is he going to go for goal? Is he going to play it in? He's played it in, and Charlie Lawrence has managed to tuck that one away. Nice play there from Kyle on this late left hand side, and a good finish there from Charlie. Good to see him back in the goals. Um, didn't play particularly well at the Euros, um, but yeah, um, good to see him back there. Like, you know what I mean, finishing well. Um, just getting ahead of Lindelof there and tucks that one away to give us a 2 0 um, lead in this game. So as we are just coming up to half time, we've got a free kick on the far side as Felipe Cruz plays this one short to Deswalski. It's now cut its way to Charlie. Good effort there, like, but um, it has gone wide. There we are at half time. Shakhtar yet to even get a shot away, like, you know what I mean? We have got 16 shots, but only five of them on target, but two of them have hit the back of the net, which is great. Um, Shakhtar are controlling the possession, but I think that's probably down to the fact they're playing so defensive that they're just playing it around with those sort of like DMs and stuff. They're just like sitting there um, and quite happy to do so. Um, they'll probably come out a little bit better in the second half, which maybe will open up things for us and maybe we can seal these three points. 
So a chance in the in, in the second half there for Shakhtar, but um, we've managed to clear it. It's now come to Macon. Macon plays this one out here to to Rabio, playing in a, a, an interesting position in this left back role. Like um, wouldn't expect him to be playing out there. Plays this one across. And that's easy enough for Timo Horn. Shakhtar with Nabri over this one plays it into Lindelof who's like pushed himself too far forward and Dreyer is like pickpocketing him there and we could get away here as Charlie Lawrence is now can he get the pace ahead he's got through this time yes and that was just the fact that Lindelof had pushed himself far too forward for the centre back and his age now that he is I think he's about 32 33 just hasn't got the legs to keep up and, and like I say Dreyer here just like surged forward great ball nicely weighted pass Charlie Lawrence here great challenge um, sort of like shoulder to shoulder challenge like you know what I mean and um, finishes well and that is surely three points now as we, we net our third goal it's Cruz on the ball finds Alhobie inside fears Rainier goes and switches wings finds Carl Warner overlapping here is Ollie Clay Ollie Clay now looking to get the ball into the box and Bolo's there puts the ball in Lawrence was nearly there great effort there from um, Carl Warner but yeah unfortunately it wasn't on target so there we go, full time and a very comprehensive win from us. 31 shots in the end, not very many from Shakhtar at all. It would have been nicer if we got more of them on target, but I think probably a few of those shots were, were hit from long range, you know, because of the blocking of like, you know, like I say, the two DMs that they were playing with, like obviously the back four as well, and we were just probably trying to get shots in, and I think that's probably why a lot of them were off target, but yeah, very good away win, you know, it's probably a, a tough place to go, like the Ukraine and stuff, you know, um, but the weather was like not too bad, so it's good to get that game out of the way um, before like obviously like you know snow and stuff like that was to come in and um, so we've managed to get that done and three three points and it's a great start for us in the Champions League but um, yeah now it's time to take on Chelsea so we've had to make um, some changes and it's been two days since we placed, um, obviously played against um, Shakhtar um, Chelsea have got the added advantage of not being in Europe at all because of their poor finish to last season they've got um, Nagelsmann in charge now so this should be an interesting um, like challenge I think for us I think um, Chelsea have got a very good appointment there in in, in like you know um, that manager but um, yeah the, you you recognise obviously some players um, in the Chelsea side but um, and they're playing very you know the same formation as what we are we um, like I say some of the changes have had to be made because of like just fitness but the other one is that Kyle Warner that's the big one um, has got injured lifting weights yes and he's going to be out for three weeks um, injured himself lifting some weights so Diaz has come in on that left hand side Zwolski is going to play a little bit further forward in the cam role. Neto has come in the, uh, like to place, replace like Rainier. Rainier is on the bench, but like I say, it's just because of a fitness thing. Um, and I think that's the only other change. Oh, Baptista has come in for Appleby as well um, on the right-hand side. So, yeah, we'll see how we do. And um, I think Chelsea are going to give us a, a tough game. Like, you know what I mean? But we're at home and hopefully our fans will get behind us. So Oli Clay with this throw in finds and Krit Dzwalski here as Dzwalski is looking for options as he, he moves himself into the middle. Baptista with the header trying to find Charlie Lawrence in the middle wasn't able to. Now Chelsea can come away with it with Phil Foden finds Mason Mount. Great ball here to Moise Keane. Moise Keane's in. Great block there from Upa Meccano and Felipe Cruz now can tidy things up. Oli Clay over this free kick puts it into the box going for the far stick oh we've hit the post but now Diaz has like managed to like you know get himself his first goal of the season as he's like you know tidy things up on that far post but yeah um, I think the Baptista possibly got the initial header that hit the post and um, we'll see better here on the um, replay as it pops in I um, mean it is Baptista getting that header puts it onto the post Diaz just happened to be in the right place there and it fell nicely to him Ukulele here for Chelsea with the throw in finds Hewitt. Hewitt under a bit of pressure there. Um, they've had to play this one here to Todibo. Todibo now goes along with this one. Not entirely sure who he was trying to find there, but he's actually found Timo Horn. Cruz now picks this one up. Arifi finds Upa Meccano playing this out from the back as Ollie Clay's under pressure from Cottrell. And we know what Cottrell is like when he was at Liverpool. Um, not doing as, as well as what he has was like at Liverpool he's having a bit of a tough time at Chelsea um, but um, we, we know he's a danger man so Oli Clay now picks this one up and goes down this left hand side plays inside finds Diaz gets it back from him now looks to play it across chance for Baptista hits the post again that's twice in this game he's hit the post both posts he's actually hit wow Tiswalski now finds Oli Clay goes across Baptista's there this time he doesn't hit the post he hits the back of the net third time lucky for him I mean he must have been thinking that it wasn't going right for him today but Nicely done. So we reach half time, two goals to nil, looking very good at the moment. Um, it's it's 
Chelsea got most of the possession and stuff, but they've not really done much with it. We're at home letting them have the ball. We're fine with that, like because we're when we do get it, we do put it in the back of the net and looking good going into the second half. Mason Mount over this corner for Chelsea, puts it into the far stick. Moise Keane's there, not able to get it in though. Now we have a chance here from a free kick as Ollie Clay puts it in. Deswalski, what a great header, what a great ball in. We know what Ollie Clay's delivery can be like on those free kicks, and he has now managed to find a blue shirt, and it's Krip Deswalski netting his first goal of the season. Great ball in, and it's very similar to the Shakhtar um, like, you know, result at the moment. Mukielele now down the line here to Dan Cottrell. Cottrell now plays this back to Hewitt. Finds Phil Foden. Foden is going to manage to get himself on the edge of the box. Garrido with a great strike there. Lovely bit of curl on that one. And Coles um, Garrido there has managed to give Chelsea a little bit of a lifeline, um, maybe. Um, a little bit of hope, um, possibly. They'll get some confidence from this. It's a nice finish, though, as Garrido puts a nice curl on this one. Look at the curl on that. Actually clips the post as it goes in. Can't really fault Timo Horn at that one that was a good goal so Luke Dreyer on the ball here with Deswalski plays it inside Neto now looking for options ahead of him plays it out here to Baptista on this right hand side surges into the box great finish from the Portuguese right winger what a finish that is lovely driven ball into the bottom corner Two Portuguese players working well here to, together. Neto finding his late countryman there. Baptista just cut, cut, cuts inside. And it's just a great finish. It just really is. And there we go. A very convincing win against Chelsea. Um, I'm sure Chelsea will be there and thereabouts. Like, I mean, come the end of the season. But uh, welcome to the Premier League, Mr. Nagelsmann. Because you didn't get the better of us that time. Like, I mean, we were very clinical in front of goal. Um, very even when it comes to sort of like the shots on target and stuff. Chelsea, like I say, I was quite happy for them to, to have the possession. Um, but they were because they weren't really threatening anything with it, so that's fine for them to have it. But yeah, a four goals to one deficit, like I mean, towards Chelsea, and, and like I say, we've bagged ourselves another three points here in the Premier League. So here's a rundown of the Saturday fixtures. As you can see, Liverpool one 0 against Newcastle, West Brom beating Palace again. Palace having a poor start to the season. Um, Arsenal Leeds um, one at one point that used to be a huge fixture when Leeds were um, in the Premier League years ago. Like I mean, um, but yeah, one 0 there to, to Arsenal 1-0 win for Leicester they needed that definitely obviously our result and then Wolves getting a good result over Tottenham yeah it's Palace that are sitting on the foot of the table Burnley have managed to get themselves um, a win on the board which is good um, like, still in the relegation but it's good to see that they've managed to get themselves a win um, but as for Palace yeah six goal, six goals six games I should say and, and, no, and no points whereas us it's a whole different story six games and six wins yes we are looking good at the top two points clear ahead of Liverpool West Ham um, can like be on those 16 points with them they're probably playing on the Sunday like I say Chelsea in fifth plot you know what I mean I, I think like you know what I mean like I say they'll be there or thereabouts like you know what I mean they've still got some decent players at that club and they'll be they'll pick up points um, against other like you know lesser teams than what we are um, but yeah a very convincing very good performance um, from the two matches in today's episode great start to our, our Champions League campaign over Shakhtar and then just keeping the, the, the pressure on at the top of the table with a very convincing win over Chelsea, thank you guys once again for tuning in I do appreciate it and um, yeah, look forward to like, any comments, you probably noticed that I've cut down the times that the videos are going up because uh, you guys don't seem to be watching as much so I'm going to just probably do it Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays from now on like I mean just so you're aware um, just so that maybe it gives you a chance to maybe watch other videos in, in between um, and do it that way and we'll see how things go but again like I say thank you so much and um, one of those would be appreciated I'll catch you on the next one stay from Moon Mongo Gaming signing off cheers